for these two. They need a win here. Yep, so now this form of the game, well, Sandpaper Ping Pong reaching every part of the world now. And uh, Brian doing brilliantly one, to qualify in first place. Beat all the people that uh, entered that competition two, qualifier. One. Find himself 12,000 miles away at Alexandra Palace. Yeah, so good start from one, Brian, just taking a, a lead here. It looks as though he's got a very quick backhand. Um, he's hit the net a couple of times um, and has, has smiled and apologised. Not sure what's happening here. Bit of a discussion. I think the players noticed what happened after the ball hit the net. The umpire wasn't quite sure. But I think all players are agreed. OK, so I think the, the correct score. score is for love to bury, actually, at the moment. Uh, and now that means 1-4 with Malinowski serving. Oh, that's a good rally. Um, some really good backhands there from Barry, but Malinowski this time was equal to it. Managed to keep the ball on the table long enough to take the point. Yeah. So Radislav Malinowski, known as Molina. Poland in the red. He's, uh, the younger man starting to run around a bit more in between the points, get himself going, gee himself up. Realises this is that his level of sight isn't as much as it needs to be, so it's just upping his physiological speed a little bit. Get the adrenaline going. Yeah, it'll be interesting whether age becomes a factor later in this game, whether uh, Barry maintains his fitness. He looks quite fit for his age. Five. Yeah, he's in great shape. And um, you have to remember that the uh, the finalist last year, losing to Wang Shibo by the finest of margins, 15-14 in the fifth and final game, Iron Man is uh, an older player himself in his 50s. So you can play this form of the sport to a good age and still be world class. So we've seen some defending here from uh, Berry, going back from the table and, and trying to put a bit of backspin on the ball. Wasn't successful on that occasion, though. So reverted back to attacking there, but uh, just clipped the top of the net and went off with that backhand. Yeah, you see Barry again he's choosing to defend there, so he's obviously an all-rounder. He likes to uh, throw in some defensive strokes with his attacks, but so far the attack's been working better, although he's missed that one. Yeah, just clipped the top of the net and went off. That is that Molina, Malinowski. And now two points lead. Five-year-old, he's in great shape, Eleven, isn't he? Against nine. Radislav, 37 years old. Warham surf in the backhand corner. Brian going down the line with that backhand. Well, not quite coming nine. off. So just a few little errors from Brian in the second half of this game. Ten, yeah, twelve. Yeah, fighting his way back into it, though. It's only the two points behind. So still much to play for in this first game. I'm finding that interesting, Colin. He keeps choosing to defend, but I haven't seen him win a point defensively yet. Yeah, and he, he still didn't... keeps doing it. Yeah, interesting. He didn't start off that way. Maybe he just felt that in the first game, that he, first game of the whole tournament, he just needs to get all of his strokes going, just feel what it's like. Also, I think Mal Malinowski's uh, standard has improved as this game has gone on. He's definitely yeah. grown into this game. Maybe he's settled for some nerves. Yeah, chewing himself up certainly worked. 14, no one will get that one back. A very, very lucky net. But at 14-11, got game point for Rado. Not 
And there we have it. Malinowski takes the first game. Had to dig deep early on. Had to G himself up, speed himself up. He looks a bit relieved to get through that one. Neither player have used their double point ball yet. And Brian going off to get some advice in his corner. And Radoslav Malinowski also rehydrating in the corner. And the next game up will be uh, Vladislav uh, Koshenko against Egle Adomalita. So we'll see, see a female player, Egle from Lithuania, lives in London. And that'll be a good game. Koshenko quite often gets to the later rounds of this tournament from Moscow. And Egle, local player partner Ashley Stokes also has qualified he's playing in group B currently he's actually on the table now that's the other side second game very to serve Ashley play Level. against Dorosinski another, another player from Poland and then Brian you can see has come in and he's decided to One, no. go back and defend a couple it worked to start with Well, there's a change of tactics. Beautiful control from back of the court from Brian. One really three. disappointed to miss, eventually miss one. If you're going to go back and give the other person time, you've got to be more consistent than the other player. Make them hit through you. One, two. So that'll be interesting if he decides to go for this as a general tactic, both in this match against Rado and also other matches that he's got coming up on this in this group later three yeah, he mixes one. it really well doesn't he it must be quite hard to know what's coming because uh, it looked like he'd come out set set his school to defend but then suddenly he hits a big backhands and takes a little lead yeah and again three, mixing it up going for the attack just off the end of the table Went for the long diagonal of course going down the diagonal gives you a bit more table to aim at if you like because the diagonal being longer than the line hit it further without it going off the end of the tape if you play diagonally. And let us love not Three, having four. any joy there when he goes away from the table. Yeah, Barry certainly favours his backhand, doesn't he? When that ball was in the middle of the table, but he chose to step across and play the backhand, whereas you'll see a lot of players do that the other way around and play forehands from the middle. Polish players in this uh, in, the, in the finals of this competition. Philip Szymanski we talked about. We also got Philip Mlanarski in group four. Uh, sorry, group D on table four. Philip Szymanski, uh, the top seed in group E on table Seven. five. And Jakub Dorosinski, who was uh, just being beaten by Ashley Stokes, in fact, we just mentioned. We'll have a, so, a get to see actually in a minute, I believe. Yeah, we'll have a look at those when we can. But uh, Brian, at the moment, eight, pulling himself six. back. Six, eight. Yeah, he's just staying within touching distance at the moment. Yeah, I was beginning to think this might be the time to play it, but he's chosen not to yet. There's the nice forehand across court. Eleven, and the full seven. diagonal went down the line, just missed at the score maybe lamenting the power play ball that he's not used you can only choose to use it on your own serve well, I think he has to use it now yeah here we go yeah. power point double point we go. Ball, Berry. so this will take it from 13-7 to 13-9 on this point so they get the they put the orange ball away get the white ball out that counts for two to the server if he wins the point Oh, that's a beautiful third ball attack from Brian. Backhand straight 30. in there. So puts him back within four points. Feel like he should have taken it earlier, but still. And then back to the orange ball. 
at one point as normal for both players. Oh, just caught the edge there, so uh, Brian's still fighting, he's pulling his way back into this end. Malinowski can't use his double time ball because he's past 12, so he's not allowed to win the game with it. Yeah, saving it for the third if he needs it, but match point. So, Radoslav takes it, 15-11, 15, 15 10. Congratulations to Radoslav Malinowski from Poland.